We go to High Point High School for the Play for Pink Cancer Benefit game, and High Point gets off to a quick start here to watch Darby Smith break in, and after making the nice dodge, she scores to give Wildcats a 1-0 lead over Vernon just two minutes into the game. High Point almost makes it 2-0 here off the corner. Watch Vernon goalie Rhonda Richardson make the save on Sarah Clark before the ball rolls over the end line and it stays 1-0 High Point. Okay, here's a wild and pivotal play in this game. Vernon has a corner. Watch Kelsey Stoll of High Point make the save and then there's a scrum on the goal mount, but there's no whistle until Vernon scores, but the goal is disallowed because Stoll's helmet came off. Wow, big call right there and it stays 1-0 High Point. Vernon's on the attack again, but Stoll stops Melody Prisco, and then she stops Rachel Colvin before the Wildcats clear the circle to protect their one-goal lead at the half. Okay, second half we go, and High Point's putting on the pressure, but it's Vernon goalie Rhonda Richardson making three saves here in this sequence to keep this a one-goal game, but both goalies are on fire. Now it's Vernon's turn to apply the heat, and the Vikings' hard work pays off as they battle in the goal mouth, and they are awarded a penalty stroke midway through the second half. And Rachel Colvin cashes in the stroke here. She goes far post, and the junior ties this game at one. What a ball game at high point. Okay, watch this wild sequence in the Vernon circle. Bodies are flying, and then Brittany Papa sends in the shot. The Rhonda Richardson's call for the stroke. Oh, man. But then Richardson answers the call as she makes a terrific stick save to preserve the 1-1 tie with 12 minutes left in the game. All right, the clock is up. Time is running out. And watch Nikki Hull break down the far sideline. She sends the ball into the circle and watch sophomore Carly Satter. She just gets a piece of it, and that's enough as it rolls in for the goal. And the High Point Wildcats pull off a 2-1 American Division win to capture their second straight division crown. Tonight was really great. We played for breast cancer, and I think that's like that what should we, we should remember. We should also remember the win, but mostly we just remember what this was for. And it was for breast cancer and all the survivors, and also people passed away from it. But it was just a great night, and it was a great time to celebrate it. It was amazing. I mean, we played for breast cancer, and during the ceremony, I mean, I was crying with my mom. It's really emotional, and I know my grandpa died from cancer, and it's just it's an, it's an emotional thing for me, and it means a lot to me. And playing tonight, was it was a great win. I mean, with such little time left, and that cross from Nikki was amazing. I mean, that was incredible. I missed a pass I should have passed to her before, and I got it back for her. I mean, that was amazing. I think we did a really great job today. Um, it was really hard. You know, we weren't expecting Vernon to come back like that. We weren't expecting um, what happened, but, you know, we tried our best. Um, everybody just did a great job, like, coming through in the end. We had a really hard time in the beginning, and I think finally we just we got that fire in us and went after it. What an emotional night here at High Point and a great field hockey game. It came down to the final moments. Nikki Hull brought the ball in, and Carly Satter tapped it in to give the Wildcats the win. That was great. It was kind of like a general rush, I guess, like just bringing up the side. That's like what I do. So bringing it to Carly, her tapping in, it was just really exciting, especially for the fans and everything, so it was great. High Point's defense was tremendous tonight, only allowing the one goal, and goalie Kelsey Stoll was great again. Our defense works really hard. We um, we practice really hard. We practice how we play. And, um, you know, we do a really good job of communication. And um, I try to keep my defense aware of what's going on. They keep me aware of things that are going on behind me. And I think we work really great together as a team. This win wraps up the second straight American division for the Wildcats. It's great because uh, a lot of people know we had a hard loss at the HWS finals and coming back and winning this game was incredible, especially for breast cancer. That's great for us. I mean, for us seniors especially, that's exactly what we wanted. Like, we just want to keep moving forward, so this back-to-back -back champs is great for us. High Point coach Bev Kerr got her 300th win a couple of weeks ago, but she was honored after the game, and she was given a plaque, and it was a great celebration for Kerr and her career here at High Point. Of course, I love Coach Kerr. She's a great coach. She's um, an inspiration to all players. Um, of any team, not just High Point itself, but um, I'm really happy for her that she got that surprise and I think she's happy too. She's been a great coach all four years I've had her. She survived so much and she's just a great coach. Her 300th win is big, so we really dedicate this to her and breast cancer. Coach Kerr's amazing. I mean, last year, um, she was, she, like, I aspired to be coached by her. She's amazing. She's been coaching for so many years, and I know when my mom was up here and she played for her, and she's just absolutely incredible. I mean, she's an amazing coach, and she cares about everyone. It's not just varsity. She cares about JV and freshmen, too.